Hey guys, I wanted to come back and do an update to my uh, comments about the S95B. As you know, I have two uh, S95Bs here side by side. If you've been watching my channel at all, you'll know this. Uh, the one on the right that is showing some gaming right now. What game is that? Black Ops 3. Black Ops 3. That has the, uh, the older 1310 update, which was our favorite update thus far. Uh, this one on the left has been updated to the 1420. Now I just want to show you a little bit of it and talk about it for a minute about my thoughts. Now that um, I've kind of calmed down from my initial reaction. So I've got it on dynamic right now. So that gives you a little more pop to your colors. So what they seem to have done was they just sort of dimmed it down and made it more like the number one TV that's out there. The A95K, the Sony A95K. So they're getting all the feedback. You gotta think about Samsung. They're getting all this feedback that, uh, you know, that their, too, their TV is too, um, it's it's oversaturated and so what they've done is they've tried to sort of like mimic what's considered the gold standard and it's still a beautiful looking tv it's not that my tv's ruined i was angry because my gaming function specifically the gaming function like i'd be sitting at a i didn't have blurring or any of these things that some others may have uh commented on all i've had that i that that what upset me was sitting looking at the menus and seeing the depth of some of the colors and things on the older, on the 1310 firmware versus this 1420. Took me a while really to understand what they did. I just thought they just screwed, you know, they screwed the pooch, but now I'm, I'm having a little bit more open mind about it because I'm noticing that some of the colors, and my son tells me the same, some of them do seem a little better now, so it's it's a uh, it's a little bit of give and take, you know. I I, I kind of uh, I'm emotional, you know, and I felt upset, so I showed that, you know. I re I just reflect what I'm experiencing with the TV that they shouldn't have done that without permission. There really isn't a reason that they should update without telling you. There's no reason that they can't you can't get a blurb that says update ready to install, just like you do on your phone. And you can choose whether you want to install that update now or later or whatever it is. Can they eventually force you to update? Maybe so. But, um, you know, if, if you're anything like me, you've had uh, lots of uh, uh, products. It's not just Samsung. You know, there's a ton of products that we buy that are not ready when we buy them. Especially in technology these days. So, um... You know, you buy a new game, there's still, the game's all broken and you're still waiting a, a year later for them to get it the way that they promised in the beginning. Well, kind of that's what's going on here, but it was, it's not broken. It's a beautiful TV. Um, it's just that uh, a lot of people have like loved it so much. I think that's the thing. People have loved it so much that they... Um, freaked out when they lost something here and there and they were like I could remember how great that was before but it's still pretty damn great so that's what I wanted to express here and I wanted to also say that you know this whole concept of Sony being treated as though it's gold the A95K like it's the gold standard okay so it won the contest as the best TV of the year it's way overpriced uh, most of us, well, I shouldn't say most of us, but a lot of us can't afford it. And we just don't want to spend that much for one television. If I'm not getting an 85-inch TV, I'm not going to spend 3000 or more dollars, personally. But the price is right on these. You can use it for a gaming monitor. You can use it for whatever you want. 
I'd say that the price is right and it's going to get, it's probably even going to drop more. And uh, uh, aside from that, they've got the 77 inch. So uh, we're expecting big things in 2023 with that uh, 77 inch coming out. And also probably improvements on the ties and all these little things that are bugging us. Just like we would get with a phone or anything else, you know. Um, they, they take the feedback and they're trying to adapt. And a lot of the feedback has been negative towards Samsung because of the, the high, you know, the high color saturation making it like a TV for kids cartoons or something, you know. So gamers love it, but avid movie watchers were complaining, you know, you know, what do you call it? Video files were not so thrilled supposedly. So now they're sort of like trying to tweak it to accommodate everybody. And you can see the technology is there that they can do that. This TV has an amazing ability to be, to, they've been able to change it this way and that. You know, you can make some changes yourself. Instead of trying to change it back to where it was when, we first, when I first got it, now I'm just trying to uh, appreciate what has been changed and to make the determination, hmm, is this, am I satisfied with this? And the truth is, yeah, I am still satisfied with it. So, um, so just wanted that to be out there and everybody to know. I wish you all the best. I wouldn't be afraid to buy this if I were you. It's not something to... Uh, it's not something to let uh, the fears control us, you know? If there's a problem with it, just return it. It's simple. You know, if you have it over your three months like I do, well, I can't return this one now. I probably would have ran right out and returned it immediately. But I'm sort of now kind of accepting the idea that updates are part of the technology these days. And I would not be one bit surprised if the same thing's going to be happening with Sony and all the others. If, it, you know, if they're able to tweak it and dial it in better. You know, if they make a mistake, I'm pretty sure they're intelligent enough to fix it. They are going to be in a... The odds are, according to FOMO and a bunch of others, there's going to be a price war going on. So we're going to benefit from that. So if you want an LG, get you an LG. Test that out. Put it to the test. You know, that's what I've done. I did not do it because I want to, uh, you know, sell TVs or something or promote. You know, one day I, I've been uh, over the moon with in love with this TV. Another day I was angry about something they did. But, uh, you know, when the emotions calm down, you can look at it more clearly and see, hey, this is this is still the best TV out there for my money. I'm, I'm still sticking with it. So... I'm not going to return it. What I may do is uh, trade up eventually for a bigger one. That's what I'm thinking right now. And, uh, you know, I would love to have uh, the A95K to put up right next to it. But the truth is, I do like the saturated colors. I like the gaming. I'm, I'm mostly into the gaming on it. So, you know, I, watched, I watch movies and whatnot, but I'm not the super nitpicky connoisseur that some people are. I just want something that, uh, an image that blows me away and lets me know that I'm seeing the, uh, able to like take advantage of all the amazing advances coming our way in technology and uh, to be able to, uh, to really appreciate the 4K, the 8K and all this kind of really groovy stuff that we didn't really have all my life growing up, never saw that stuff. So I'm still pretty excited about it. And, uh, I've revised my opinion, as I said, somewhat, you know, everybody has a right to feel however they want. You don't need to go in and yell or criticize anybody else's opinion. That's my, that's what I think. I've had people come on here and tell me, oh, you, you know, you just spouted off a meaningless rant for 10 minutes. Well, so what? My channel, I'll do whatever I feel like. I'll say what I want. I say what I think. Should I care about what critics say about what I'm saying? No. Not at all. I care about the television itself. And, uh, you know, so if you can do better, go ahead. It's funny that most of the people who have so much to say and so much, uh, you know, acerbic wit and insults, you go to their channel and they got nothing on there. They're just commenters. You know, so I think a lot of them are just like, who knows? You know, you know, these companies hire so many people to work for them. And these people come on and all the social media and they basically 
try to derail criticism and they try to build enthusiasm for their products. And that's going to be on all the products. So that's how I feel about all the yes men talking about how great Sony is. And I don't want to be one of those guys about Samsung, because I'm not. I just look what I think is best and go for it. And that's all you can do. So in the future, I do intend to uh, check out maybe that uh, um, that U8H t- television for under a thousand bucks, just to check that out, because I've heard a lot of good stuff about it. Some of you guys have said it was pretty amazing and uh, the other one I was interested in of course is the A95K but who knows what's going to happen in 2023 so for now I'm quite happy with these TVs and I got both of them for about the price of one uh, A95K by Sony so you know uh, by the way Sony is not there was a time when Sony was like the gold standard I think in televisions I don't think of them that way now, and I don't think you should either, because the fact is they've got a crap ton of bad televisions out there. They're average and not that great. So they won the round this year. Good for them. There's no telling who'll win it next year. So just hang on tight and uh, be prepared for the ups and downs with these things, because we're riding out these new technologies and learning. You know, the more you learn about it, the better decision you'll make. And it's really cool that there's so many of us now that are taking the time to learn. Don't you think? Now, I didn't know anything about TVs a year ago. Not really. You know, I knew a lot. I had a lot of uh, friends with money who who uh, were buying the expensive TVs, you know, $5,000 TVs uh, 10, 15 years ago. And I always thought they were dumb, <laughs> to be honest. I mean, I, I didn't throw, I didn't, I'm not into throwing money away. So, you know, to each his own. I wish everybody the best. And I appreciate you at least watching my videos and, and uh, hearing what I have to say on it. And I, I do the same. I, I essentially listen to everybody else's videos who's talking about this particular TV. As I did when I first got the LG C2, I did the same thing. And I learned a great deal. And that's what I advise everybody to do. Learn as much as you can. And then that way you're going to make the best decision. All right. Happy holidays to everybody.